up to a certain amount. Um, income does relate to positive emotion in the day to day, but actually um, research, not my own, has found that beyond $75,000 a year, at least this was in 2010 in the US. And across the country. Yeah. Across mm -hmm. the country. Um, that it actually doesn't translate into feeling happier over the course of your day. And so in my work, and as well as work that Hal and I have worked on together, um, in terms of this question of what's the secret to happiness, um, the answer is related to a simple shift and actually focusing on the other resource that we have at our disposal, um, which is time. Mm -hmm. And we find that um, those, so we actually um, surveyed folks from across the US asking this simple question, which do you want more of, more time or more money? And while we found that most Americans would actually prefer to have more money, <laughs> um, those who said they would prefer to have more time um, were um, significantly happier. And that's controlling for how much money or how much time that they have. Mm -hmm. And so what that's picking up as well as other uh, work of mine where I shift people's attention, not just looking at natural proclivities towards sort of valuing time versus money, but drawing people's attention towards time. It, um, leads to greater happiness because people become more deliberate in how they spend their time. And when, with that deliberation and realizing how sort of precious our time is in the day to day, but I think even more so over life as a whole, mm -hmm. then people live in a way that's sort of more consistent with their underlying values. And a lot of times that is related to things that make mm -hmm. you happier, yeah. like spending time with loved ones.